All right, back from lunch. So this morning what I did, I'll roll the video footage now as I'm speaking. I started by heating up and welding down the backs of some of these to straighten them out. So what happens is you heat it up, the heat shrinks, the heat liquefies and expands, right? And then it cools and shrinks and brings that thing back down. So once I got those straightened out, some of these ones had to go down, some of these ones had to come up. Once I got those done, then I welded these rails on, started at the front and welded all these rails on and they curved just like the main beams as I did the welds. So once I got those two on, the next thing I did was weld on the other half of the ramps here. I welded this structure on. <clears throat> and see it's welded straight to this all the way down here. And then that's there on both sides. Uh, once I got that done, I was able to split the uh, angle here, bend the top down, weld it back together, and I had to add about a quarter of an inch to each one. And then it's lunch time. Uh, so the next step, what I'm about to do now, is more cutting things. Uh, now that I have these on, I'm gonna make the skins for them. So I have to do some measuring, some cutting, some bending, blah, 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 fun, fun, fun. All right, let's measure our width. And I'll end up hanging it over a little bit as well so I can grind this edge down. Now, I need a bend. That's pretty good right there. So now I just cut these nice little strips that I used when I split this one inch apart as the strip that was down the middle. I still have a bunch left, which I'll save. And these I'm gonna use to weld in here like this and then grind down their height. So now that I have those done, that pretty much, ooh, it doesn't wrap up the front. Yeah, so I'm gonna need another plate. All right, so for the center here, this is gonna be a, a bit different than most other low boys and that these ones they don't have a pin and plate they use a hook so it pretty much it has a bar on the fifth wheel that slides under and then your foot comes down and pushes down and that lifts up into the little nook and cranny and that's where all your pulling's done and this literally just holds your angle there's a little guide so the bottom of the neck here and the real one, it would have a flat plate that came out like that. And there would be a little slit in here with a little Y sticking out. So that way that would be the first thing to hit this trailer as it comes up. So it would go boop and hit that guide and get perfectly centered and there you go. Probably have to go a little bit wider than that even. Let's get her cut. Alright, here's her plate. Alright, now I need a little curve. And that'll be good right there. Now I'll need some guides so it doesn't just look like an ugly plate like that. Alright, so all those little pieces are ready to weld up. Yes. Whew, she's gorgeous. So, now that I have those parts made, the next parts I'll make are these ones. Alright, now let's mark it where we need to cut. So for width, I'll go here. I'll bend it a little bit so I can get that nice flat top on it so I'm not just welding the two ends together. And now I just pretty much need a strip to go doot 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 doot. That'll do, huh? All right, now let's duplicate this for the other side. Beautiful. Perfect. All right, so that's it for those. Next thing, go one back. Boop. Now we got these big meaty cross members. 
older people for granted. Oh yeah, baby. Woo! Beautiful. Now I need to duplicate these for this side. All right, now I'm gonna do the top plates for these. Perfect. It just fits right in there. All right, so now we got all these ready to go. These ready to go. So join me in the next one. This is where I end today. Uh, I'll do some more making. I'll do some more welding. And we'll get this thing wrapped up at some point in the future. I ain't going to rush it. I ain't going to set a deadline because... I really don't know when that's going to be. Obviously, I still got more welding and more stuff to make in here. Once I'm done with that, then I have to start my neck. So, i got a lot of work. I still have to do suspension and everything. So, we'll see how this goes. See you next time, guys.